Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I got Al back there eating an apple. He loves his apples. Is it a good apple? Yeah. Yeah. Such I don't a. Like it. What do you mean you don't like it? Yeah, you do. Such a hectic morning today. I just woke up with. Mm. What? With leaking diaper. Full diaper disaster. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you know, getting fired up on the day when he's using the uh, the potty. Oh boy, but um, yeah. So it was super hectic, and then he didn't want to get in the bath and get all cleaned up, fully like madness, and hadn't checked in with my higher power at that point dude so I had to like slow it all down and go walk around out in the garden for a while and pick some peas and stuff and super stoked my cucumbers and my melons were popping out of the ground that's very nice I get excited about that I love my, my lemon cucumbers Yeah, they're good. And uh, we're off to go to swimming lessons, but all I really want to do today is get to the skate park in Venice so I can go rip around. And it looks like it's gonna rain, like just, you know, who knows? So it's, it's that full weird energetically off kilter kind of day. <sighs> Breathe deep and remember, remember. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. I've been thinking about that a lot the last couple of days, sort of a ra random accumulation of things. Like I bumped into this dude yesterday I know who was like, dude, I, you hear what happened to me? I'm like, no, he's like, I've been in a, I was in a coma for five months, dude. I was at the supermarket one minute, next minute I'm in a hospital room five months later. I don't know what happened. I'm just trying to piece it all together. And I was like, whoa, dude, that's radical. And then my buddy, who's still out there doing the drugs and the madness, we're trying to figure out how to get him into like a detox because he's just, this apple. he's gone crazy. And I'm just like, wow, dude, like, you know, it's that's why we're of service to people. Hey, this okay, it's to remind them is to remind ourselves how it used to be ultimately to like help someone who's out there in the weeds. You have to remember what it was like to be in the weeds. So I was talking to my other buddy and I was, I yeah, well, I just want to make sure you don't spill on yourself. Okay. Drink some water first and then I'll go. And, uh, I was just reminding myself, I like, go. wow. Say what's the magic word, Please. right? Okay. And, um, I was like, wow, eight and a half years later and this dude's still out there, man. So gnarly. My buddy sent me video of this dude, like in the car talking and you could see like the uncomfortability of this dude's spacesuit was mind blowing, dude. And uh, oh, it, just, it just made me super grateful. And then at the same time, the hologram sent me a video I did about a year ago when I was doing those daily walks up to my little view spot, trying to like overcome my back thing. And I just started doing it. And she was like, we forget how far we've come. Like we forget how far we've come. And she was like, watch this video, dude. And just see how far you've come. I mean, it's been a tricky year over overcoming my back. What do you need bird? Overcoming the back thing, dealing with my own depression, coming out of it, homeschooling, owl, the life transition, being Mr. Mom, the whole deal. And so I looked at this video and I was like, wow, man, a year ago, dude, I was so underwater. And I'd made a decision to walk the mile up to my little view spot and the mile back home, no matter what it took. And it it, I couldn't walk more than 10 feet at a time. 
And I was like, wow, that dude back there a year ago was jacked up, man. Like, dude. And so, but I forget, like, here I am, like, oh, uh, uh, like, uh. And I'm like, wait a minute, man. Where was I a year ago, dude? Underwater, dude. And I look at it now and it's like, dude, life's pretty good. It's just to, like, breathe and, like, remember, like, but we can't, like, I, I can't anywhere. I got to constantly remind myself of, like, where I've been and, and where I'm at. I'm not too worried about where I'm going. Like, that's in, in God's hands. But where I've been helps me, and I don't like to dwell on the past. It's just, it lets me know, like, I have a record and I can look at it and be like, whoa, dude, like, maybe today is pretty good, dude, because whatever was going on before was kind of radical. And so I'm a big believer that, like, you have to make a decision. Whatever you want to change in your life, you just... The first thing you have to do is make a decision. Make the decision that you want to change something. And then you have to take your first action. So the minute you've made a decision, you've already changed the universe. And then the minute you've taken your first action, you've really altered your path. But the trick, and this is, I guess, what I was reminded of and the accumulation of stuff. It's all about staying on that path that you've chosen for yourself. Rowing that boat towards that island out in the sea of potential, right? It's so easy to get way out there. If a journey of a thousand miles begins with one footstep and you get, you know, I don't know, a million footsteps into a 10 million footstep journey, you, you just get into the rhythm and then you forget like where you are and you stop and you're like, where am I, dude? Because each footstep begins to seem, the first footstep's monumental. The hundredth footstep's just another footstep. And then by the time you're to the millionth footstep, you're just slogging along. And you forget how monumental those million footsteps have been to get you where you are. But yeah, you still got another nine million footsteps to go. And you're like, oh, well, I haven't made any progress. But if you go back to before you made that first footstep, you realize you've made monumental progress, dude. That even if you were struck by lightning and that was it, you made a million footsteps when you had none once upon a time. And that's what I have to remind myself constantly. It's like, dude, talking to my buddy who's trying to get my other buddy into it, like a detox makes me realize, whoa, eight and a half years later, dude, I was that broken dude once upon a time. And look at how radical my life's become, dude. Look at how radical my life's become. But it was me making one footstep after another, dude. And I remember, man, I remember years two and three in sobriety just being like, this sucks, man. But not wanting to go back. Not wanting to go back to where I started. That's for sure. And persevering and having faith. You saw the dumper? Because faith. I, I don't know if, if you don't have faith, then, then you, I can't explain it to you. But those of you who have faith know what it is. And faith's just something that like can propel you through when you don't have faith. It's a weird thing like that. Like the one thing I know about faith is when I've lost my faith in the faith, that faith means that I'm going to persevere through, persevere through the, the horse latitudes, the, the doldrums of it all, man. So I'm kind of fired up as I'm making this video. It's like, yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah, I'm a million footsteps into a 10 million footstep journey. But once upon a time, the hardest decision I ever made in my life was to make that first footstep. And the hardest thing to get to was the point of making a decision. It took, so if I look at it realistically, it took me 40 years to make a decision, dude. Uh, you could say the journey began when I, early on, at like later, like, so it took me 27 years, 27 years to make a decision that I'm gonna change my life for the better. And that was just, so that was a long time to sit in the, uh, on the infield, 
No, I don't need sports analogies. I should stay away from. Dude, but so when, I, when it became the time to make the decision, and then I made that first step. <whistles> Monumental, man. But I forget. I forget I'm a million steps into this, and like that is a miracle in itself. Dude, like you like steps? Yeah. Look at this cat back here. He's fired up on steps, huh? Yeah. Are you gonna swim today? Yeah. Are you gonna kick? Yeah. Are you excited to swim? Yeah. yeah. You didn't even want to swim two months ago. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, remind y'all, whatever your journey on, if you've made the decision to alter your life for the better, you're already winning, man. You just gotta stay the path. Stay the path, man. Don't turn back, dude, because you can't. There's no turning back. Look at the police car. It's just, yeah, look at the police car. Somebody's in the back of that police car, and it's not us, bird. <laughs> Knuckles, boom. Other than we just get to keep driving towards swim lessons, dude. Whether I get to skate or not, bonus, it's an option, though, and I didn't have that option a year ago, man. <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> I was struggling just to walk 10 feet. <sighs> Here I am a million footsteps later, dude. I Pretty... like footsteps. <laughs> I, I like footsteps. Do you have anything to add at the end here? Yeah. What? We're on the back road. We're on the black road. All right, this is the illusion. I want to make one more step into the future. Future tripping, man. Not my jam, dude. One more step into the present. We're always in the present, man. I can't step into the future. I can only step into the present. Go some music. Go some music. Okay, you got some music, buddy.